wanted to paint a little bit. Um, again, uh, your goal is, of this assignment is not necessarily matching the color of the original collage. Okay. What your goal is, whatever color you paint on this, which may be different from original color of the collage. Okay. So I want you to uh, think about specifically what the, the value of colors you choose to paint matching to the value of the, um, the uh, collage. So you, I just painted orange here because orange was there, but I have to check back. This may be too dark to, if I'm trying to match this um, light gray, right? And I painted green here, but maybe this green is a bit too light if I try to match this uh, gray here, okay? So um, again, the colors are somehow, in a way, it's important, but ideally, the important value is matching between uh, collage and uh, uh, painting. That's, that's the uh, ultimate goal for this assignment uh, project too. Okay, and uh, that's very similar to a concept of uh, final project one, um, golden rectangle, you are matching between two paintings um, of your abstract image and Okay, so that's something you should be doing here. Okay, same same concept. No matter what color you use, the gray. If you are take grayscale photograph of this, this looks like similar to this. Okay, all right. So now um, there are a lot of questions about the colors. Um, you still have to choose colors um, of. One of the color schemes you, you study. Okay, so we were, I was just making very small um, color chart like this last time. But it's good to think about what color can make what at this point. All right, so um, you can think about colors, but also value of the colors, right? If you choose yellow, yellow can be darker, yellow can be lighter, red can be darker and lighter, blue can be darker and lighter. And uh, ultimately those values of the color, you think about just as grayscale. But in this assignment, also you can mix those hues. This was primary triad I chose for my painting of this. But uh, you can also mix those primary colors. That's how I, I made orange, by mixing yellow and red. So I'm making this what happens if I mix yellow and red? I can make orange or red orange or yellow orange. I can also mix blue and red to make some kind of dark purple in between. And blue and green, the blue and yellow can be mixed so you can make green too. So that's how I painted this. Okay, so it's good idea um, at this point, what's the color scheme you are choosing? So my case of this one, I started to paint with um, color scheme I chose, which was um, secondary triad this time. Okay, so I already painted orange, green, and violet, but also I'm starting to make the violet 
uh, with red. I'm adding a little bit orange. And this is the green. I got green here, but also I'm adding a little bit of a, a orange to green. So, but I'm not using any red. So when I come to this part here, I have red. And I cannot make red. Remember, red is a primary color, right? I cannot mix red. So I have to probably come out with a different color to this part, as long as the value is matching to that part. As long as value is very similar to this value. I have this part here with basically white figure with letters. I could stay just white, but it can be a little boring if I have just white shape against white background. So maybe I can use very light orange to the background. of the figure, this part, as long as it's very light. I just don't wanna erase those letters at all. I'm painting very light. Okay. How can I approach to the skin for this person? Or I shouldn't care. Should I care about skin tone? No, of course, everybody's skin is different. So uh, we cannot quite generalize uh, what's the best color to paint uh, human skin. Um, maybe still I can see that lighter, orange can be the best to start at this point. But if you have a freedom, she can, you can make her to be green figure rather than the other human figure. It can be like a person can be light green if you want to. It's really, a, you, are, uh, you have a freedom to choose different hue from original skin tone, okay? Um, as long as you, uh, the value of that uh, green is uh, the ch uh, choice of color is matching to the body of the original uh, body of the collage. So uh, let's say at this point, I can make the figure at least orange to this person. including the hair. My advice at the beginning is um, don't use a very opaque paint. Try to apply some translucent paint so you can see the original line drawing, pencil drawing. Maybe this person, this girl, doesn't have to be orange. Maybe she can have a little bit of more like a pink, but we don't have red. So in this case, maybe we can add a 
maybe we can add a little bit of a violet to the orange instead of using red. Plus white. Because I'm not allowed, I cannot make a red. I have to substitute with something. And this light violet almost looks like a pink. Shoot, I didn't do the hand of this person. Maybe the hair of this this girl can be a little bit more orange. Of course, hamburger she's eating is probably dark orange. Okay. This guy here is totally grayscale. So shall I just do the black and white to make this gray scale here? Or I can make, mix some gray by mixing green and black again. So probably I'm going to do that instead of using black and white. And of course, if you add some more white, you can control that value. All right, it's, it's very fast. Um, not necessarily really elaborate way of painting, but I went quickly to think about overall color I can use, okay? And uh, think about uh, what you that your colors can do by making simple values, value scale and intensity scale like this, okay? But doesn't have to be very elaborate. Just I don't want you to spend too much time. Don't, try not, you don't have to make this one perfect. Just I want you to uh, think about possibility.